Legendary investor does not like investing in something that really isn't an investment. I know, I know. Bad man said some mean things, but we're going to get through it. Generally speaking, I don't really worry a whole lot about what people think. Now, this is Gold Channel, so I'll dial that in a little bit. I don't worry too much about what people think of gold ownership. A general sentiment that's different, that's interesting to me, of course, because that can affect price. But when one person has an opinion that doesn't line up with my own or doesn't support something that I already know is working for me, well, I'm not going to get too wound up. Uh, before we get back to it, if you're looking for precious metals, hit up SD Bullion. New customers even get gold and silver for spot. It's sdbullion.com slash new. I've mentioned Mark Cuban and Dave Ramsey have opinions on gold. Now, Cuban's reference, it was just off the cuff. He was having drinks with Bill Maher. He thought it was a bad idea. He threw in an expletive, put a little more zip on it, but really no big deal. Now, Dave Ramsey, he's a little bit more consistent. He's got a standing opinion on gold. He thinks that... It's a waste of money. Now, I'm no expert on Dave Ramsey, but from what I've seen, his whole strategy kind of revolves around getting out of debt and not wasting money. So it's possible that his audience needs just a little bit of that reinforcement from time to time. Now, in either case, I really don't think their opinions on gold are that important or even surprising. The only reason we hear about them is because they've both built significant audiences, but they've built those audiences around other things. So another well-known and undeniably successful personality that I haven't talked about is Warren Buffett. Now, this is someone I actually do respect. I'm definitely interested in his strategies, but as an onlooker. And I'd love to have his investing acuity, but when he responds to questions on gold, well, he sounds a little bit like Ramsey and Cuban. He doesn't think it's a good investment. Now, it's easy to find specific quotes from Buffett on gold. He's referred to it as a hunk of yellow metal, which has very little real utility. Now, in one forum, he went on to explain that over 100 years, farmland is going to be gold, and so will equities. Now, I'll get to equities in a minute, but comparing gold to farmland is like comparing apples to oranges. And actually, in terms of acquisition, it's more like comparing apples to farmland. I don't know of any productive farmland that I can buy with spare cash here and there. Now, that's not to say that farmland is unreachable. Definitely not to say it's a bad idea. There are loans or people who can manage it for you if you don't know how. Farmland's great, but I don't compare its output to gold any more than I compare it to a bicycle. And as a financial instrument, it's more like cash. It's more like an alternative to cash. Let me get to that in a minute because he's got another zinger in here. Warren Buffett has said that you can coo to it and you can caress it and you can fondle it. It's a little bit weird. And then he says in 100 years from now, you'll still have one ounce of gold and it won't have done anything for you in between. Now, that one might sting a little bit for anyone who likes to fondle their gold, but again, the opinion doesn't really mean much to me in that lens of why Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of all time, doesn't invest in something that I personally don't even see as an investment. So to explain that a little bit more, I see gold as an alternative to cash. I've always seen it as a backup fund, not as an investment. And I'm realistic. If I were to judge my gold position as an investment, well, I wouldn't be a strong performer compared to my actual investments. But if I judged it as savings and I compared it to any cash that I've set aside over the years, well, it beats that cash in every way. So don't get me wrong. It's interesting to hear what people think, especially if the person is interesting. Now, what I haven't seen from any of those three, though, is simply advice to not overdo it. All three of them, they're unquestionably successful and whatever they're doing is working for them. But I would say that everyone should have a backup plan in case the thing they're doing that's working stops working. And from day one, for me, I've seen gold or silver that I've purchased as filling that role. I think it makes sense to have some savings. I think most people would agree there. And I understand that relying only on cash savings is not as easy as it sounds. I don't know anyone who really enjoys saving money. They might be out there I don't know them. It takes a lot of discipline and it's easy to spend. And also inflation eats away at it every single year. So to me, gold is a good way to save and it's also a great hedge for certain environments. So because of that second part, I would say that it makes a lot of sense to have a non-zero position in it. 
But that's just an opinion. That's not advice. I would never push anyone to dive in, and I would definitely never deride anyone if they didn't agree with that. In another interview, Warren Buffett calls out Goldbugs saying they want people to agree with them. They want everybody to get so scared they run to a cave with gold. I mean, maybe there are a few people who are out there with that in mind. I can think of one or two people who give me that impression at least. They defend gold or silver on grounds that I don't think they were meant to perform on. It typically turns out that those people, well, they sell this stuff, so they're going to have stronger opinions on it. Now, most of us, though, we're probably going to see it as practical savings and then insurance against those certain environments. And we're going to see it that way more than any kind of investment. So in that same interview, Buffett goes on to say gold bugs have the premise right that paper money is going to be worth less and less and less over time. Well, now we have some common ground. I don't think it's a great idea for me to sock away a bit of paper cash here and there to give to my kids someday. We could probably all agree on that part. But then Buffett jumps right back in and he says where they're running to is wrong. So much for getting his approval. Speaking from personal experience only, I understand that it's easy to overdo things. And if Warren Buffett came out and said, hey, gold is a good savings vehicle, but don't let it become your only thing. Well, I'd have a lot more respect for his position. That would feel like usable advice. Now, if we look at those times that he spoke about gold, I don't think that he's giving advice to begin with. I think he's just giving an opinion. He's defending what he's been doing at Berkshire. Cuban, now he was telling Bill Maher that he thought he was wrong and that's fine. He was a few drinks into that conversation. Dave Ramsey, now he is giving advice, but he's giving it to an audience member that he thinks that he understands. We all have to decide whether it applies to us and then whether we even care. I know where I stand. So let's call it good there. Let us know what you think of expert advice on gold. I have a feeling that most of us will be on the same page there. Usually the person has drifted out of their lane a little bit, but let us know what you think. And then while you're in the comments, be sure to hit that like button if you found any of this interesting. Be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.